And welcome to Debate 411. Thank you so very much for making time to join us on the program. We are here every Monday and Wednesday live and direct from 9 p.m. till 10. And of course, all the time talking about various issues of importance to you and I. And of course, of uh, issues that we need to really debate about and get different perspective about those particular issues. My name as always is Eugene Anangwe. You can definitely get in touch with us and be part of the program by tweeting us at debate411 or you can tweet me directly at I'm Eugene Anangwe. All you need to do is add the hashtag debate411. Today on the program, we have the Ministry of Natural Resources, a war ministry. And of course, the issue is the concern at which we are cutting down trees to use it as fuel, as charcoal, as firewood. And of course, we're asking ourselves, are we able to do without charcoal? Can we embrace other forms or options or alternatives of fuel? These are some of the things we'll be talking about right here on the program. My panelists right here on the program is none other than Edri from the Ministry of Natural Resources. And of course, she's the head of the Forestry Department. Thank you for joining us on Debate 411. Thank you. And of course, with us also, who are giving us the other alternative sources of fuel, is none other than Emmanuel Kamanzi, who is the managing director of REG. EDCL. EDCL. But of course... That's the, the holding company. The, 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 the father company. Yeah. The parent company. Thank you so much for joining us right here. Thank you. And of course, Norris Ogalo, who is with the, the SP Limited, those ones who are giving us uh, the liquid petroleum gas. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, viewers. On the program. Now, let's quickly talk about this target that we have as a country of rolling back the number of people using charcoal as their source of fuel. In 2010, we had around 93% of the total population using charcoal. Mm -hmm. And we had a plan that we need to roll this number back to 50% by mm -hmm. 2020. But of course, today as we speak, that number from 2010 has gone up to 98%. Edri, tell me about this particular concern that you have with these particular numbers that we're seeing today. Yeah, it's true that uh, the numbers are rising and we do expect it to have, to have it to drop down. Mm -hmm. But now it's continuing, is increasingly going up. Mm -hmm. It's about 98.5 mm -hmm. people using fuel wood and charcoal, mm -hmm. mainly in the city, in the charcoal and fuel wood in the rural area. Mm -hmm. Uh, we continuously uh, plant trees, but the, 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 the worry is that these trees are cut before time. Mm -hmm. So uh, eucalyptus is the main source of wood energy, the mostly is the quality wood for energy. Mm -hmm. But the, when you, you, you expect, when you expect to cut trees, uh, eucalyptus to harvest is in five years minimum. Mm. But you find a, a tree of two years is being harvested and uh, three years being harvested. And the consequences is that when you cut eucalyptus, it doesn't shoot back. Uh, you need to wait for some more years for it to get back? Not at all, yes. because the, 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 the stem is not uh, strong enough to, uh, to, to, to revive the whole system and shoot more stems. Mm -hmm. So this means when you cut it before time, it will go forever. Mm -hmm. So we keep replanting, replanting. Uh, and they keep cutting and, they keep and cutting, cutting, and cutting. cutting, cutting. L l let me talk to Emmanuel here because you are, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, Emmanuel, not Norris. <laughs> you, are, you are among the people who, you know, or the institutions that are supposed to be offering alternative sources of fuel so that people like her stop getting worried and other environmentalists out there. But the concern is that the alternative you're giving is just not that affordable for people who are cutting these trees. Yes, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, we are moving uh, from uh, far, uh, going uh, to look for a solution. Uh, like she mentioned, uh, instead of reducing on the number of people who are using um, uh, firewood or charcoal. The numbers they going are, up. They are going up. Yes. Uh, the reason is uh, that our population also goes up, but that doesn't make uh, us feeling that there is a um, there is no way to can to solve that problem. Uh, if you understand the means of infrastructure through energy sector, mm. we we are working hard while using our uh, development arm like EDCL. We are working hard to look for solutions. Solutions are many. 
programs, I mean, people have been uh, hearing of the biogas systems. Uh, we are thinking of this as alternative source of solution that is a little bit, yes, of course, it's not cheaper like someone going and cut the tree like she mentioned, mm. but this was a kind of one of the alternative we had in, in hand that it would serve uh, or it would reduce on the consumption of, 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 of uh, firewood and charcoal. But also uh, we have programs like uh, improved cook stoves. Improved cook stoves means what? We want to make sure that uh, we move for more efficient cook stoves that will reduce on the consumption of firewood. We cannot eliminate consumption of firewood, but we can reduce on the demand of firewood. Mm -hmm. Like she mentioned, instead of cutting three trees in a month, you would cut one in three months. That saves three trees that would grow and get to the level they want. Mm -hmm. So what we are looking into here is that what innovations we are putting in the place. We've been talking about uh, 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 pellets. Pellets, uh, we are using waste, agricultural waste, that always is, is not being used for cooking. And instead of cutting a tree, then you use the waste of the trees, like leaves and other things, and then you compact them. So you can use uh, those ones to create what you call uh, 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 gas, we use in the stoves called gas fires. Mm. So you just create a kind of smoke that is going to be burnt and it will be having a high efficient uh, 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 capacity to cook in a shorter period of time. And that saves more of the trees that we are going to use. Mm -hmm. So a number of initiatives on ground are there. But what we, are, we, are, we, we call people to use, they need to make sure that we use these alternatives that are on ground mm -hmm. so that we save more of the, uh, of the oh, wood that oh, are cut. Wood, but also cut, yes. another one uh, I, I wouldn't forget, especially people who are living in, uh, in the cities, especially people who are uh, well off, I would say, why should you fight for the charcoal when there is uh, other alternative like, uh, I mean like LPGs? Mm -hmm. You see in the market a number of uh, 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 um, cooking gas are available, but people are not really adapting it at a, a, a higher rate as we expected. And if you try to compare the prices, it's almost the same. The only thing is just uh, a change of mind. That's, the, that's the, where we are. The, the concern here is that all these alternatives that you mentioned, and you're also saying that if you compare the price, it's almost the same, that those who feel that they tend to disagree with you. That, that a sack of firewood, I mean of charcoal, is almost 8,000 Rwandan francs. The Jiko, the one they use in Babura, is almost 2,000 Rwandan francs. If you look at that, this sack of charcoal will last me probably a whole month. But the LPG gas, which I have to refill at around 20,000 or around 17,000, it won't last me longer. I will not be able to cook my maize and beans uh, there. Uh, I will add you this one. Mm -hmm. I'll just give you a, sample, a simple example. Look at a household mm -hmm. that is, let's say, five people. Mm -hmm. They may use three sacks of charcoal mm -hmm. based on the efficiency of how they use it. Mm -hmm. And then that is around 24,000. Mm -hmm. So if you look at certain, uh, there's a bottle of LPG of certain, it costs around 25 or 20 something mm -hmm. plus. And it will last for almost two months. So if you want to use charcoal, you will be able to use around six sacks in two months. Mm -hmm. That is around 48 or, 40 or 50,000. So people don't, don't get, because you just spend 8,000, you mm -hmm. think you've, you've not spent much. But if you use the number of sacks, then you will know how much. In the end, much. you feel like you've used in more. In the end, you've used more. Mm. But in the spending, you feel you've used less. Mm. If you buy LPG, maybe the first uh, uh, cost of the, the bottle is a little bit expensive, I think. is around 20 to 30,000 based on the size. So you agree it's expensive? It's upfront payment initially mm -hmm. it's it's uh, a bit a little bit expensive but it's not expensive in the long run mm -hmm. but the gas itself is not mm -hmm. expensive once you have the bottle when you start refilling yes if you start refilling i'll be bringing in norris but before norris comes back I'll, I'll, let me bring back adria here because what he says is that we have so many alternative sources of fuel mm -hmm. uh, and of course you know from the the, the, the improved gcos to the you know gas but these numbers are still going up. I mean, if we've, we've not been able to use those alternative sources of fuel to roll back this number from mm -hmm. 93 that mm -hmm. it was in around 2010 mm -hmm. to 98 today, 98 percent, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. why do you think those measures have not succeeded in reducing these numbers of people using charcoal today? I think it's the mobilization of people mm -hmm. because... Uh, 
I agree with uh, with him that uh, the the at the beginning you may feel is expensive but after you get the bottle and the, the the stove it become very cheap but why people are not adopting mm -hmm. uh, maybe the purchasing power of people at the very beginning uh, uh, there is a way to find a subsidy or a, a system that allow people to get this uh, this investment uh, on loan or any kind of system that allow them to have this investment at the beginning. And this is what we have not uh, been able and to that's, do. That's what they, they have not been able to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in uh, Bona Norris here. You have a great name, just like one of our person we grew up watching, Chuck Norris. Talk to me about this subsidies that she's talking about that you've not been able to offer to at least encourage people. Because the first step is a very important step. And if we mm -hmm. make it hard for people to take that step, then we might not have many people taking that step. So why, is, wh why are we having these high expenses at the beginning? L what can we do? L let, me, let me just again uh, get back to Emmanuel's point. He, yes. he was going to compare a GECO and, and, uh, and an LPG gas uh, cylinder. Yes. Uh, true. When you compare the two, the costs for LPG cylinder are higher, probably two, three times higher. Okay. That's given. But there are alternatives. This is just like, uh, for example, um, this, is, this is an open market. Mm. So it is possible for the private sector, for instance, to arrange uh, a, a payment system for the same. It is possible. It is possible. But why are we not doing it? The key issue here is that we yet to have mechanism for that credit offering. What's the problem? What's stopping us? The challenge, the challenge is that you, for me to give you credit, mm -hmm. I must know you. Mm -hmm. So for me to give you terms, I, I must know you. Mm -hmm. So what, what we need is to mobilize, uh, for example, mobilize uh, our, our users to probably come in groups, uh, groups that can have um, own uh, solidarity guarantee. Mm -hmm. So we have 20 groups who probably are um, businessmen or women in different directions, mm -hmm. but they have, they're, so they're guaranteeing each other. So for those, we can easily give uh, our, our equipment based on the group guarantee. Mm -hmm. So we need to mobilize towards that direction mm -hmm. to help probably um, uh, sub, 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 uh, stretch the, the, the payment period. Mm -hmm. And see, the good thing about it is um, the fact that you have a fair guarantee, you can stretch it to six months. When you stretch it to six months, uh, and they, 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 you, they, they start testing the waters, and they, the waters are sweet, I can assure you, mm -hmm. because um, uh, as, as you said, LPG is more efficient. Mm -hmm. So what you want is people to mobilize themselves in groups, and come for this, you know, long-term kind of loans to get these LPG gas cylinders and stuff. Actually, it it, it is it is both. Mm -hmm. Um, the private sector needs to need to do that, uh, and um, I know in countries that they're already doing that. Uh, here in Rwanda, probably it is uh, the fact that LPG growth has been gradual in the last uh, uh, five years. Probably we've seen double the numbers, which is a good thing. So probably this is the right time for us to now start um, engaging mm -hmm. the, 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 the 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 public towards such such directions. Are we planning already? Do we have a yes, roadmap yes, of starting yes, this yes, engagement, yes, yes, or are we yes. just talking? You know, playing lip service? No, no, no. This is not lip service, cl clearly. I mean, as we get more competitive, we have to be, uh, you have to innovate. And this is, uh, this is some of the things that uh, we've been thinking in our boardrooms. Mm -hmm. So when is your next meeting for this? <laughs> meeting with who? To, to plan this that you're saying? That we you're already planned. Plan. I mean, uh, 20, 2016 is around the, around the corner. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the initiatives you're putting in place for, uh, for our 2016 plan. Super. Yeah. Emmanuel, yeah. there are those who are also pointing fingers at you and saying you are the cause of this because you've already increased the cost of electricity. And, and for mm -hmm. us who do not want to use the gas, but we've always been using our cookers and stuff like that, we're now just resorting to using charcoal because electricity is now expensive. Uh, I think that is not true. <coughs> uh, people will simply say electricity has increased, but uh, that is not true. It hasn't increased? The issue is we always buy electricity in USD, mm -hmm. in, in, in dollars. That means the electricity we receive, for us, we buy it in, in dollars. But if you see electricity I was buying in five years ago, when a, a dollar was changing to around 500, yes. today is 700. Yes. So who pays the balance? So we just translated. We didn't increase anything. In fact, it's the same price you've been buying it for the last five years. But people should understand that this electricity, you have to pay for it before it gets to you. So um, we are just trying to see if we can maintain the business. But if we have to make sure that uh, 
is affordable, uh, we are working uh, 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 along to make sure that we reduce the cost of electricity so that it can be an option for cooking. Mm -hmm. But also if you try to look at it, if you try to look at it, the cost of electricity today, if you're a household, is not that expensive. I will tell you, uh, you do it at your home. Try to use electricity for one month and see your bill. Mm -hmm. Will not exceed 30,000. And your charcoal will be around 24,000. Mm -hmm. Try to make the balance. So it's about what plan do you have? understanding of people how to use these uh, 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 resources we have. If you want to cook on electricity, I tell you, the difference between using charcoal and electricity cannot go beyond 20%. Mm. Mm. And you tell me, if someone is in a, this uh, new building that are coming out, you want to use charcoal mm. just to save 20%? But then again, Emmanuel, because at the end of the day, also the consistency of this electricity, if I'm going to use it as an alternative of, you know, for cooking and, and, and it's not there consistently, I will tell my Kadogo Chana in Babura very fast because yeah. I need to make my Ugari and the electricity is not there for me to use, the, which I've been using. Uh, don't you feel you're also part of the problem? Yes, to one, one side we are. We are because we've not made it uh, on time. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are saying that uh, it's just a matter of time because we are getting there, especially if, if today if someone complained that the power is off and on, I wouldn't agree today. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe within this month. Uh, last two months was very bad because of the nature, because the, the livers where we get electricity was completely dry. So that gives us a hard time. Mm -hmm. But at this moment of time, we are trying our best to make sure that we have enough power supply. To, to, to sustain us? Yes. Just mm -hmm. a matter of time. This is what he says. But do you have the patience to wait? You know, this matter of time, and trees are being cut, charcoal is being burnt, to give these people alternative to cook when power is gone. Do you have the patience to wait? I think I don't have uh, any patience uh, uh, anymore because uh, since 2000, now is 15 years. Mm -hmm. We are now 2015. Mm -hmm. So we, we were on 90 uh, percent use, using charcoal yeah. and fuel wood. Now 15 years uh, uh, has already vanished. We are still, we are now going up. Mm -hmm. So where we are shooting to 100 percent. Mm -hmm. So the trend does not really secure me to be patient. Mm -hmm. Rather, it is it it is send me to be very much worried uh, more than I was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell them? What would you tell them? I would tell them the, to uh, look for uh, first of all. Uh, the government has re has removed the taxes mm -hmm. to gas. Mm -hmm. Is zero tax. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the bottle and the, the, the stove, I feel they are not enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you move around, only on the station and a few corners of the, the boutique. Mm -hmm. That's where you'll find them. And That's get where you'll find them. And get it zero rated. Uh, and, yeah, and, and the uh, charcoals are even in, at a household in the, in the Mdugudu level, you will see the, 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 the women selling charcoal. It's everywhere. It's Maybe available. It's everywhere. Yes. It's available. Yes. So I don't, I don't feel that uh, they have done enough mm -hmm. to, ac to, 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 to improve access. the access. Yes. Uh, Norris, it's a very key point there. You, you, you pay zero tax, according to her. And of course, some people will be concerned that why then do you still keep the prices uh, high? Why don't you make them more available than like we see the charcoal, which is right on your doorstep? And What's stopping you from doing that? I appreciate. Uh, we go back again five years ago. The, the consumption of LPG was probably a thousand um, um, metric tons uh, a year. Now it doubled yes. in five years. That tells you that there's some uptick. Of, of LPG, that tells you that the people who've already been converted, uh, the population has not doubled in the last five years. So clearly, we have made some inroads. It probably may not be enough, uh, given the fact that the challenge we have with the, with the tree cutting. I appreciate that, but they, we, we've made some, some some significant effort. Number two, um, I appreciate that the the hardware has been uh, zero rated in VAT. Yes. But you also have to remember that the fact that it's been ha uh, zero rated, yes. it doesn't, it has to, attra it still attracts a cost. And the costs, costs are not uh, small money to the company. I'll tell you for free. So you're free. out to cover your costs? I'll tell you for free. We do not make any margins on hardware. That's the sacrifice we've done. Mm -hmm. It's a direct transfer cost from ourselves to the consumer. Mm -hmm. We don't make anything. That's not our core business. Our core business is not metal. Cost business is LPG, okay. So, 
we, we, we can try as much as possible to bring the, the, the hardware in the, in the country, but we, li we need a lot more operating capital to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and not all the companies do have that muscle to, to, to bring in as much. Yeah, but this, as it is, it's progressive. The good thing about it is, once the bottle is in the market, it goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's within the market, so it's it's a step change, and that probably explains the fact that we, the, the, the 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 uptake has doubled in the last five years. So the fact that you're not making margins out of you know the hardware, could that explain why you are probably you know having a higher cost so that you can cover your costs for the gas itself? We do not have a higher cost for it. The mm -hmm. Cost, the, 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 I mean, uh, the, the, uh, apart from the cost of acquisition, LPG as a product, as a business line, is good, mm -hmm. given, given, given to it. But she feels that the, the supply, the, the, the accessibility <sighs> is just not enough, like uh, we're seeing with charcoal. Uh, th that's her feeling, and I appreciate that. For me, as a, as, a, as a person in the business, I would like to double that. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that, as a, I mean, uh, the fact that I'm not able to double that because there are constraints, and so one of the constraints is that I need more working capital. Mm -hmm. But if I have enough working capital, I have no reason why I should have more double my bottles mm -hmm. in, in, in the market. Mm -hmm. So uh, as it is, the will is there, but we have to balance a couple of things, mm -hmm. uh, and, and one of them being, as I said, the, the cost of hardware. Let's talk about that. Yes. I, I, I think uh, at this moment we need to think about it. We may say uh, the supply is a problem, mm -hmm. but probably not. To me, I see mindset as a problem. Why people, when I just walk at, at, uh, at uh, GC Mint, mm -hmm. I see a lot of bottles that are there. Why yeah. are they there? Mm -hmm. If I would find that the place is empty, then I would say there's a problem. But the bottles are there, no one is taking them. Why? That's why I say it's a mindset. Why are people not using it? It's not them? cost. It's not lack yes. of availability. If it's a mindset issue. If you go to. in Chigar City, yeah. all these buildings are using charcoal. I don't think this is a problem of cost. It's a problem of mindset. This is where you find a problem. If, if all of uh, the people living, maybe 50% of the people in Chigari, uh, can afford this LPG, to my understanding, to my, to my judgment. When you look, you cannot have um, a building of around... Uh, 40, 50 million, and you fail to learn an LPG. Mm. That is going to be uh, a, a mindset problem. But when uh, 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 it was uh, hearing the discussion here, to me, this is a focus uh, on LPG. But the solutions we have are different. Mm -hmm. For example, in this country, majority of Rwandans are using a little bit, mm. I can say, a little bit of improved cookstops. You remember we used to three stones. Mm. That one was consuming firewood like nothing. Mm -hmm. We moved from there, we go for other different chana mache, chana rumwe, mm. uh, that is full type. Those types of things are initiatives since 2000, I think, yes. that are initiatives the government is putting in place to make sure people reduce on the cost of, uh, of charcoal. Yes. When now if you go to the supermarkets or in other cooperatives all over the country in the districts, yes. they have these uh, improved cookstops mm. that are saving, even if you are using charcoal, but you are saving on charcoal. So those, those, uh, those kind of initiatives are very important to reduce on the number of, uh, of trees that are being cut down. Mm -hmm. Another one we are talking about today is LPG. Mm -hmm. LPG is a solution, especially for those people who can afford it. I'd say those who can afford it, why? The, the government has put a, a zero tax like they mentioned. That's one point. The second, the government's trying to make sure the supply chain is in place using the private sector. They are here. So... To me, we need to change our mind. We first think what we are doing before you, 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 you give you a house girl to go to buy charcoal. Ask yourself, where are you taking this country? And then from there, but, but, but what in most is my... Cases, but in most cases, this house girl would be sent to buy this charcoal because probably the LPG gas probably is out and probably the electricity is not you know, that sufficient or, or, or so expensive, it will end so fast, for example, and they want to buy again, uh, because there's this person here called Robert uh, Ford, who has just tweeted, and I don't know if you want to tell him as well to change his mindset, because he is saying, believe you me, charcoal is still the most affordable source of cooking for it, f fuel for most of urban dwellers. Any other form is expensive. So is uh, this a mindset issue? Yes. Uh, should give me the numbers. Mm -hmm. There I would believe that's what, uh, that is true. Mm -hmm. But if you're not uh, able to give me the numbers, that's where I started by calculating. If you're using three sacks of, of, of charcoal, that's 24,000. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, if you use uh, a LPG of 13 kilogram, yes. you are going to spend almost two hours, I mean, I mean two months, if 
you efficiently use it. And if you compare, this person will spend almost uh, 50,000 while the other one just spent around 24,000 or 25,000. So would you tell me this is, the costs in terms of cost, this one demands you to pay immediately, mm -hmm. 24,000. Mm -hmm. But this one just asks you 7,000. You can even buy 200 and cook for a night. Yes. So that's the difference. Yes. That's where the challenge is. It's not about the total cost of the system. Yes. Of course, there is maybe 10% difference, mm -hmm. I would agree, yeah. be it electricity, be it LPG. But let's say, We've been teaching people how to use the biogas systems. People have cows and whatever. I think we'll be getting deeper into biogas. That's what I'm saying. We'll get I'm deeper into biogas. But okay. just, just before you go there, because we have another tweet here from Mingavira who says, the number of bottles in Kisimenti petrol station cannot determine the accessibility of LPG. We seem to be using a certain place to, 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 to justify that the LPG is the gases, the, the bottles are there. Yet they're not as accessible as, as she was saying. I, I think again. I mean, it, 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 to me, to me, uh, it's it's difficult to have LPG all over the place. But we've tried to decentralize the access to LPG. Uh, we've gone distributorship. We've got um, a couple of, um, and, and it's a business. We've created employment by, by itself. So in itself, it's self-regulating because if you want to get a distributorship, we, we will support you. And whatever you take it, you'll take it to the customers. Mm -hmm. So you're unlikely to take it to a place where there are no customers. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the fact that, the fact that um, the, that product is probably not visible at that place uh, um, where the, 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 the caller is, 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 is talking uh, about is not necessarily to qualify the fact that it's not available. Mm. Yeah, it probably, I mean, if, 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 if even bread, it may not necessarily be available in the next shop, but it is not a, a reason to say that bread is not readily available. Mm. So, uh, I mean, I would discount that fact, the fact that um, we do have a cup, enough distributorship. It is a business by itself. Uh, there, 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 there are people out there who've uh, you know, gone all, all out and they're even distributing in homes. So it's not a reason to say that it's not accessible. We are we have entrepreneurs who are, have put their numbers out there to be called whenever your LPG is out. To deliver it at to home. To deliver it at home. He says it is not easy mm -hmm. to have them everywhere. Mm -hmm. But in your comparison initially, it is very easy to have charcoal everywhere. Mm -hmm. Does that worry you? Because he says it might not be easy for us to cover many places, to have this LPG eh, all over the place. But you said earlier on, it's easy to access charcoal. Is that a concern for you if he is accepting that there's this difficulty in, you know, mass distribution? I intend to, uh, to disagree mm -hmm. because uh, if uh, farmers or small business traders uh, manage to come from village, from uh, mountains, uh, where forest is mm -hmm. and reach Kigali to bring charcoal, uh, to bring charcoal mm -hmm. and move from Kigali wholesaling point to the village to Imidugudu. I don't think these uh, business people uh, with petroleum business can fail uh, to, to reach uh, to go the other way around mm -hmm. because uh, first of all um, uh, gases or uh, the bottles I, I can imagine they can be transported easily more than a charcoal and they, they are for so which are traveling from mountains mm -hmm. to, to here, yes. but uh, you don't find another way around to, to different town. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think there should be another strategy, maybe linking the, whole, the, 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 the petroleum agencies with the, the small traders in the, in, the, in the villages because we have uh, centers, the uh, trading centers. But how many uh, trading centers have LPG mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in, the, in the corner? Uh, so, so that's the problem. Mm -hmm. If you see, there are many people, uh, as Emmanuel said, that have good houses that can, uh, who can really afford. easily mm -hmm. afford even those bottles. But back home, in a village, you don't find them. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 uh, I think that's, do, that's, do that's, that that's the point. Do you I, I, it's, I, it's, I it's tend again point. to disagree and yes. I look at it in terms of, again, perspective. I'll give you an example. Um, the, the first few months that I lived in, in Kigali, mm -hmm. A friend of mine told me there are so many RAVs in Kigali. Mm -hmm. I had not even noticed that. Mm -hmm. But I, when they mentioned it, I started noticing it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you again for a fact. I've been in Kigali for five months, four months. I've not seen a charcoal seller. 
again, it's my mind because I'm not looking for it. So if you're not looking for LPG, you'll not see it. Mm -hmm. But there is LPG out of there. So I think to me, uh, it is the fact that it's not in, it, we probably, uh, and I'd accept as, as, a, as a private um, uh, sector, we've not probably done enough for awareness, for people to know that LPG is available. Go to any petrol station, you'll find LPG there. Go to supermarkets, there's mm -hmm. LPG, LPG, uh, LPG there. So yeah. really... She doesn't accept. She doesn't agree with that. I don't ag agree because how many people, how many people goes to supermarket? Mm -hmm. So those people are the one who has it. I have it. Mm -hmm. I know the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I know the station where uh, I buy fuel. Uh, let's say fuel for my car. Mm -hmm. Then I see LPG. But you can imagine our parents who are in the in the in the in the, in the village. Mm -hmm. They only see wood. They don't see this type of uh, this type of modern modern energy. Uh, um, I could, think could they be the ones that uh, he wanted to talk about the biogas? The biogas. But when we when we come back, we'll talk mm. more about the biogas. Yes. When we return, I just hold that particular thought. When we come back, we're talking more about the biogas, the cost of putting it versus the cost of having the charcoal. When we return, stay with us. This is debate four and one. All you need to do to join this particular conversation is tweet us and follow at debate four and one. And you can definitely be able to add the hashtag debate four and one. And we'll be reading some of your comments right here on the program when we come back. Stay with us. Hira umri na kumati kesiti na na kumati kigali city tower. Maze ujoherge ni gani kadi vichi roringa na namrongta nukijana kumai swime yugo koko butandu kanya. Kolesha ayama hirgwe uhabu tapi uiti mo kuri tume cha kabiri cha yaribu shule ihute nu tangwe amati de kwa na mabgi riza bila kuri chizwa. Na kumati, you need it, we've got it. Shop at Nakumat UTC and Nakumat Kigali City Tower and enjoy 50% discounts on home living face towels, bath towels, and hand towels. Grab this great opportunity and get yourself selected carpets at a half price. Hurry, hurry, hurry while stocks last. Terms and conditions apply. Nakumat, you need it. We've got it. And welcome back. Thank you so much for always being with us right here on the program. It is Debate 4 and 1. My name is always is Eugene Anangwe. You can definitely be part of this particular conversation we're having right here. Can we do without charcoal? What is the problem? Is it a mindset issue or is it the lack of accessibility of other alternatives, either due to cost or just availability of them? Talk to us. Of course, react to some of the statements that are being made right on the program. If you agree with them or you do not agree with them, and be ready to read some of your comments right here on the program. We are talking about the issue of use of charcoal and the concern from the Ministry of Natural Resources. We have Edri here who's representing the ministry and of course she's head of the forestry department. Very, very concerned lady on the program. Of course with us also is Norris who's representing uh, those from uh, the liquid petroleum gas. He, he represents SP Limited. And of course um, uh, we have our good friend Emmanuel here uh, from, uh, you know, EUCL. EDCL. EDCL, rather. And of course it is definitely the parent company of reg uh, right uh, so, so so talk to me about the issue of the biogas because you've all been banning to talk about that because in the first part of the show we talked about those in the urban areas those who are able to access the lpg but let's talk about those in the rural areas who i'm sure are, most of them are your concern because these are the people nearer to the forests so how are we making this available to them the I, biogas i, I think uh, i would like you allow me to to first conclude to, to talk about the LPG mm -hmm. um, and the value chain of LPG, like my colleague just mentioned. 
Yes, uh, like the, 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 the viewer was uh, mentioning, that they are not available everywhere. It's yes. true. Mm -hmm. It's true. Countrywide, they are not available to the next door. Mm -hmm. uh, what he was mentioning, they are available in the market. Mm. Of course, the market is still young. It's still, at, it's still young. So uh, we can't expect that uh, they are everywhere in the country. Whatever you want to buy, like you buy sugar or something, you get it. It, that, that's, that's not that easy. But so, 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 so the inavailability in that sense is justified? Yes, it's justified to, to, a some, to some extent. But we are putting a lot of efforts to make sure we have more companies that are going to distribute these things. What are those mean, efforts? What are those efforts? Efforts means we started by tax exemption. Mm -hmm. That means awareness that How we did are that doing work? to them. How did that work? The tax for exemption us? means it reduces the cost of the... I know, but what was the implication in adding more players in the industry? That means it makes the business viable. Because mm -hmm. if the cost of the, the product is high, so many people will not afford, and that limits the chain supply to be limited. Mm -hmm. But if you reduce on the cost of the product, that means many people would afford, and that makes creates the market for the investors. So that makes it much more easier. Again, as you see the country, if you see, uh, we mentioned that the people get in the supermarket and, and petrol station. If yes. you see how many petrol stations are built, if you see the supermarkets that are coming up, all those areas where we think people can access and can be able to aff afford these kind of systems, Possibly in the near future, they, they, it will be like a door-to-door -door, uh, business. So I, I don't have a very big challenge with that, but what we need is the people to change their mind. The second one, uh, if I come back on the biogas, the biogas normally works. It works for the people who have the waste, waste of the material, the biomass. Mm. That means people who have cows, mm. goats, uh, and other animals at home who can at least have around uh, 40 kilograms of waste a day. Mm. That means they can have a biogas system. So, we've been trying to uh, 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 attract many people to use this kind of system, but people are reluctant. Mm. The reason is the one we've been saying. Yes. They want things to happen without their input. They want free things. Yes. So, that cannot work. Technologically, uh, the biogas works, and how it works, it needs you to follow it up to make sure you maintain it. If you don't, if you don't feed it, it doesn't work. But people want things that, like you see electricity, you do just pay a hundred, uh, 190,000, I mean, francs, and then you get electricity without any input. For the burgers, it needs you to be part of the system. You make sure every morning you feed it. It's a rigorous you, process. Yes, you, you clean it, you make sure, then you get the gas. So think about it this way. If this is the entire process that you need to go through for you to definitely get this gas, and you look at the kind of effort you need to, to put to just get the charcoal, are we fighting a losing battle? Because most people would opt for the charcoal instead of going through all this process of getting the biogas. Is this a war that we will win? The fighting of charcoal? Uh, yes, that's, that's why, where I started from. Because uh, this environment issue it's mine, it's yours. So it's nobody's responsibility, but it's our responsibility altogether. Mm -hmm. So before you think of using a charcoal, you should ask yourself where you are taking your self. Mm -hmm. But if you use a biogas, mm -hmm. one, you make yourself clean, but you save also yourself. I mean, you save your environment. So it's not about a competition of what I should be using. The charcoal is cheap and it is nearby me, that's fine. But in the long run, if we don't have uh, other solutions, this country is going to be a desert and we'll be in for it. Mm -hmm. So you would choose. That's why I said... Take the sacrifice, yes. wait, go through the process of getting the burgers rather than go the shortcut. Yes, this is your because advice. the shortcut will lead you to a long uh, destination. Mm -hmm. So it's better you choose today mm -hmm. to save this country, mm -hmm. to save this nation, mm -hmm. so that in the future you are uh, kids will have life after. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we will be in a trouble in the next uh, uh, 20 years to come. Let's read this comment right here. Of course, it's, it's from a friend of the show. And of course, uh, Anasema Kwamba, like the debate on charcoal availability versus access, uh, accessibility and affordability. And of course, he goes on to say, it is not a mindset issue. I think it is the issue of sensitization, marketing first, and uh, then the issue of accessibility, availability, and affordability follows that we have not done enough of sensitization. Yes. Those who are giving other alternative sources of fuel have not done enough of marketing. 
you know, going door to door, mm -hmm. giving you the reasons, advertising on different media st houses and, you know, campaigns. We are not doing this in order to create this awareness that we're talking about. It's not a mindset issue. Do you agree with that comment? I um, very much agree with, uh, with uh, the, 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 our friend who mm. is giving that. Because mm. as I started, if I, if I want to cook, I just look at the nearest mm -hmm. uh, option. option. Mm -hmm. The nearest option for the poor, you will find even the smallest, the smallest uh, uh, unit of charcoal to cook today. Mm -hmm. So if I find the smallest gas also, I will, I will go for it. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I go. Uh, I also intend to 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 listen to uh, to to our colleague mm -hmm. who is uh, selling or uh, doing business in the in the in the LPG. Uh, that maybe maybe the capital mm -hmm. needs mm -hmm. for, uh, for 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 distributing these bottles because uh, it may need more bottles. To distribute across uh, the, uh, the whole mm -hmm. trading network, mm -hmm. uh, but at Minirena, at ministry level, we also have a solution. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go for a project to Fonirwa? We have a local funds for climate change uh, um, uh, initiatives, uh, initiatives. Mm -hmm. and this, if you you present a, such a project that you would like to have that capital. To make sure that the subsidy I, I, I was talking about, maybe having the different form, the different size, mm -hmm. and then we will ease our, pro uh, our, our problem. And you can work together. And to we do can that. work together. Yeah. That's the not a very problem. important point by this viewer here on the issue of sensitization and marketing. It's, it's, it, I'm not putting you on the spot, but of course, for you personally as SP, how much have you spent this year? We are almost ending the year in advertising about what you're having. I think the truth of the matter is that um, the public sector as a whole has not done enough mm -hmm. in doing public awareness. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I will attribute this to an evolving product. You say the public sector. What about the, the private, private Sorry, I meant, the private. I meant the private sector. My, my, my bad. Mm -hmm. The private sector has not done enough. And, uh, and as it is, it's, it, this is an evolving product. This is, uh, this is um, as it is, the up, up, uptake was not as much those days as it is coming uh, in, in this in this in this current times mm -hmm. so it, it's, it's becoming a strategic product for us to you know um, uh, focus a lot more to it but again the converse of it is that um, we have players who have lots of information we have guys from the f uh, from the, the the forestry nothing stops them from approaching uh, these players mm -hmm. and uh, us partnering, partnering in such initiatives as, um, um, as she has put it. So we are open to that. But I, I, can, I can guarantee you that the, the, the budgets for, for marketing LPG have grown up over time in, in line with the growth of the product. That I can guarantee you. Mm. Yeah. Because we have only seven minutes to go. Yes. But I want us to leave this place at least with, with a solution. When we walk out this door, this studio, we, we at least have a solution to this issue. She's a concerned woman. So are many other people who are concerned about the environment and, of course, how we're going to be living in the next years if this number continues rising and rising. Now it's 98%. Probably in the next few years, we may be even looking at a very high, uh, higher rate. So, so what do we do? Where do we go from here? Tell me about the promise that you're making to the Rwandese population today that is going to help us save our forests. Yes. Um, <clears throat> let me first agree with the comment from the viewer mm -hmm. uh, that uh, the market, the marketing is not well done up to the moment, like my colleague says. The second is uh, like um, awareness campaign. Awareness campaign is, has not been done well, and that is what we are putting on the table. Like I mentioned, we are trying to come up to work with the private sector, working all the stakeholders in the in the group that we design a mechanism that is going to at least allow people to know what is it. Some people just get fear of the LPGs. Yes. But also we want to make sure that we have much more efficient cookstoves in the sector. To How make are we sure going to do this? Uh, this is what we are doing. Uh, so far uh, we've put uh, in all district a production unit. In each district there is a production unit for uh, improved cookstoves. We put a current that is going to make sure that we have uh, a, a high efficient uh, charcoal production. Mm -hmm. because for us, we are not saying we are going to get rid of uh, using charcoal and wood. No, we are going to use them, but at a more efficient way. That will reduce on the, on, on, on the usage of the, of the biomass. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, we want to make sure that there is um, 
a policy that is a little bit uh, going to support both private sector and the end user of the product. So that at the end of the day, if you put our efforts together, we can reduce on the consumption of the, of the firewood. Mm -hmm. So to me, um, it's uh, just a matter of putting our efforts together. We work together. Yes. This is what and you would say as your parting shot. Yes. And then we put all the, we try to look into the mechanism that can be used uh, to, to reduce on the, on the cost of these products on the market. That will only be the solution uh, for us to go forward. Are we looking at meetings with the private sector very soon? to do this, to, inf to ensure this happens? Uh, no matter, we, we do meet them uh, mm -hmm. a number of times. Like today, uh, I mean tomorrow, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, we have sector working group. Mm -hmm. The sector working group, that is energy sector working group, where we discuss all these issues. The private sector is there. The, uh, uh, the DPs, the developmental partners are there. Um, so the, the, the partnership are is there. there. The partnership is there. So yes. we see the problem. Mm -hmm. If I tell you, when you look when you look into our action agenda, the Sustainable Energy for, for All Action Agenda. In fact, we have levels where we are moving today and where we want to be in 2030. Where we've seen 2030, we will be having a very big challenge of getting firewood. But we have, so, we, we have these agendas, we have these big roadmaps, yes. but it's 98% and we only are at 2015, just a few years to go to 2020. I'm telling you, are you cannot, you cannot simply... initiatives working or what is going on? Yes, they are working. You cannot simply measure in terms of numbers of percentage of yes. who uses them. Mm -hmm. But you would rather say percentage of tons of firewood that has been... Uh, are saved, mm -hmm. dec decreased. Otherwise, we would be having maybe 10 times of the demand. Mm -hmm. But today, when even if it is, 90, it is 98, but how much tons of firewood we are consuming mm -hmm. compared if we are not using all these other initiatives? Mm -hmm. There you can tell me exactly that you can know really the demand would be two times. So we should times. not be alarmed by these so numbers? No, the numbers are there mm -hmm. are alarming mm -hmm. to us because mm -hmm. our target is to get 50% Cut. Let me hear with, from Norris because we are going. Closing remarks. We're closing we remarks. These well, numbers, how do we roll them back? I appreciate that. I mean, for, for, for us in the private sector, I think there's a lot of scope to be, to be done, even in the urban side, side of it. Um, uh, for example, we are seeing uh, up, upsurge of gated communities. Mm. To us, it's an opportunity for us to put piped LPG. Yeah, and these are some of the initiatives that we've been discussing in the office going forward. Um, uh, Piped LPG will do what? Would, 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 would take away the cost of hardware. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's number one. And number two would, would help convert as many users uh, of LPG. And I'll tell you what, if urban the urban uh, pers persons are converted, these are the same people when they go to the village that will be ambassadors of LPG. And they want to make that and for the, their parents exactly. back then in the village. Mm -hmm. As we go, mommy, yes. what do we do? Uh, uh, I first of all appreciate that there are a lot of efforts that mm -hmm. are being made. But uh, from my point of view, uh, I, I feel there is a way to prioritize. Uh, them say that if, uh, forests mm -hmm. is being degraded because of use of charcoal in towns. 60% mm -hmm. it comes to Kigali. Mm -hmm. 40 goes to the other towns. Mm -hmm. And again, let me uh, remove some worry about the rural area, household. Household are only using 2%. Actually, I'm not about about uh, my, uh, our, our families who are in, in, a, in the village. They are only using few, and they are suppliers. They are farmers. They have their forest. So they bring uh, them here. They, 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 no, no, they, they even have their own supply. So they are not consumer, of, uh, but for us, Kigali and the other town, you are consumers. What policy should be so put in place then, then to policy, deal with this? Then the policy uh, says that let us start with Kigali and, that, and towns. Cut charcoal at least from cities. Mm -hmm. And then you will see the forest will come up. So it is visible. You know, you cannot say that uh, we are using improved charcoal, LPGs, we are doing effort, but the, 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 the indicator is the forest itself that is dying. Mm -hmm. So in the whole village is dying, mm -hmm. so there is no way we can say that it's not worrying. So you support but the house owners who tell the, the tenants house? that don't use charcoal in my house? This yes, is what we should go. for sure. Mm -hmm. And in Kigali and the towns, let's start from there. Mm -hmm. I think it will be easier the suppliers of LPGs uh, to to, uh, to 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 actually reach the market, they reach the the the, 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 the demand yes. 
easily. Okay. And go back to Emmanuel mm -hmm. from Reg. Let's at least work hard on schools and uh, on schools, prisons, and uh, uh, and uh, they use uh, firewood award a lot. They do uh, industry yes. and the industry so we and the restaurant. That. We should stop we that. Should Trist, at least work to minimize because these are the disasters. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the people who are really using much. Mm -hmm. If we start from there, I think we, we can, can make it. Thank you so much, Mama Forrest herself. Thank you so yeah. much, Edri, yeah, for you. that passionate remark. And of course, gentlemen, thank you so much for your insights. We hope this is not just going to be a talking shop. We're going to walk out of this place and act on those particular numbers, of sure. course. And we're hoping that all of us are going to play our role in helping cut down the, the number of trees that are being dropped because of charcoal and firewood, all right? Yeah. Thank you so much. And of course, for you as well, who has been watching us and participated in the program or will participate later on when you watch this on YouTube, thank you so much for being with us. The show is Debate 4 and 1. I'll see you again on Wednesday, right here, same time, same place. My name, as always, is Eugene Anangwe. Goodbye for now.